Hey everybody, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. Today we got Key Art 9's Metal Spotlight. And in these videos I go over traits, skills, keyblade setups, and then I go show you how much damage the metal actually does. So, for Key Art 9, there's a couple possibility on traits. Now we always start with traits because it's terrible to put a skill on. Like let's say we put Attack Boost 3 Max and Lux Plus and then we don't get any like raid damage traits like raid boss damage plus 40 percent we kind of wasted a lux plus skill not really it's still going to be good but you really want to decide after you get traits like let's say you get really really bad traits then you don't want to put a certain skill in there because it's not good for coliseum but it's only good for this quest so always decide your skills after your traits so for this metal traits i really really want to see a couple things now there's two or three approaches you can take with kr9 First approach for a trait is extra attack. Extra attack is going to be hands down the best one, especially later on when we on uh, North America can actually have a keyblade setup where we lower the general defense down by like four or more. So let's say we have a keyblade setup and we can do negative four on all enemies. This is going to be really good, really good with extra attack because we don't have to rely so much on negative 60. Now, negative 60 is going to be stacked with your general defense down the higher you go into Coliseum. So, Coliseum wise, you guys want to see negative 60, negative 60, so you can go farther and farther and farther. But for me personally, my key art 9, I want extra attack and one of the uh, general defense downs, either negative 60 air or negative 60 ground. I don't want to see th strength because strength's not going to help me for Coliseum. Uh, when I do these VIP medals, I really want to aim towards Coliseum. And if you aim towards Coliseum, this medal will be good for anything else. Now, the thing with strength, strength is really good for Lux farming and really good for high score challenges. The more strength your medal has, the more Lux you collect and the more score you collect during high score challenges. So don't forget that, that strength is really important on medals that have three or less attacks. But this guy does nine hits, so he's not going to be one of my main high score challenge uh, medals, my nuke medal, my main damage dealer. So I don't want strength on him. If strength appears, it's not bad, guys. He's going to be really good for every content that you guys can see that's in the game, except for high tier Coliseum. So aiming for extra attack and one of the negative 60s. For you guys, if you don't care about that double buff, because later on all your medals are eventually going to be buffing, then don't worry about the extra attack. Um, if he is going to be your main damage dealer, then boom, go negative 60, negative 60. So negative 60 ground, negative 60 air, you're going to see in these two slots right here. And that's going to be perfect. It's going to have no problem carrying you through Coliseum to a pretty high ranking. Now, for me, my Keyblade setup, he's not going to be the heaviest hitter. He's going to be the one right before the heaviest hitter. Because I'm still going to rely on Illustrated Halloween Town Sora. Or if you guys have a better upright speed medal than him, which is kind of hard because it's like Illustrated Roxas, him, and the Halloween Town Sora that have the best AoE damage for upright speed at the moment. Or at least I can think in the top of my head. But that's what I have available to myself. So I'm definitely going to go for those traits. So let's start the traits and then we'll get into the rest of the video. I think I've spent too much time there, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's go. First trait, nothing. I'm going to go by... The ones that are blank first and this defense boost one. I have this one locked here because it has defense boost two. And I might save that extra copy there for a guilting campaign. Because you know, guilting medals out of a guilting campaign is really, really, really bad. But I do want to start using him and I stock up those mirrors for reasons like this. For these medals. Those mirrors are meant for these medals. So I can use them immediately. Everything else can wait for a guilting campaign because I don't need it. So here we go. Our first trait. Extra attack and negative 60s, please. That's all I'm looking for. He could also be a really good raiding metal. Like, lowering your, uh, the tribute of defense of a raid boss is totally fine. Max gauges. Not a good trait. It's a good trait, but not a good trait that I want to keep on this guy. Lately, my traits have been really bad, actually. But yeah, for the raiding thing, he can still be a raiding metal, so don't worry too much about that. Come on. Extra attack, negative 60. That's all. I can see it. I can see it spinning. Strength. Okay, so strength's not bad. At least he has a little bit more power, but it's not what I'm looking for. I'm getting nervous now. After like two rolls, I always want to see at least one trait I wanted. And if I don't see it, I get real nervous. But you know what? I feel good. I'm feeling good still. I'm feeling good still. Max gauges. Get that out of the way. All right, so we got two traits on here that I don't really care about. I'm thinking of like trading the next one and then switching it up. You know what, I'm going to go for one more, and then I'll put those two together and see what happens. 
because strength 1000 is still pretty good so i don't want to lose out on that and get like a sleep resist and poison resist aerial okay this is perfect now i just need extra attack on him or like right here this is super super powerful towards aerial enemies like i would actually want to stop right here if i don't get extra attack i won't even overwrite uh what do you call it i won't overwrite that strength 1000 if i get like okay we'll see we'll see what happens i'm i'm going over myself here but that is a perfect aoe aerial metal like any aerial enemies i'm gonna face in high tier this guy's gonna beat the shit out of them so let's see if we get extra attacks that's the only thing i'm gonna overwrite with oh oh I could make him a Radiant Metal, but I don't want a Radiant Metal, I want a Coliseum Metal. I know a lot of you are like, oh my god, but I want a Coliseum Metal. I'm having fun in Coliseum. So, this is for the guilt and for my final Lash trait. Like, right now, this is perfect. I'm happy. The only way I could be happier is having extra attack. That's the only way, but this is really good, because if you don't guys, if you guys don't know, uh, I don't want to override Defense Boost 1 onto my Defense Boost 2. Alright, let me just... Make sure I'm doing the right thing before I continue talking. But if you don't know, my illustrated Halloween Sora has negative 60 ground. And it's an upright speed. So now I have a ground metal. I'm good with that, guys. I'm good with that. Anything over 100 is really good. Because it can actually be lower than 100. I think so, anyways. For tier 5s. I think it's 80 to 150, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 80 to 150. Or I could be wrong. But anyways, 102%. I'm not complaining. And I got one more reroll for later on. Max gauges, I don't have to make any tough decisions. Skip button, perfect. Okay, so like I said before, my Illustrated Halloween Sword has negative 60 ground and plus 1000 strength. So now I have a air metal and a ground metal. And this is a very, very good situation I want to be in. Now I know a lot of you guys, you'd rather go for that negative 60 on both of them or that extra attack. I'm totally fine getting get extra attack. I'm going to keep a separate copy here if I ever need that negative down too, but I won't. And later on, again, I'm going to have another best, uh, another chance at another trait and a better guilt. So I'm going to leave him at 102% for now. Uh, I really want to wait for that guilting campaign, to tell you the truth, guys. But if I wait for that guilting campaign, I'm most likely going to put mirrors on him. You know what, guys? Before we continue the video, I'm going to say screw it. And I give you guys my advice. My advice is... My advice is... Save that extra copy... If you don't need to fuse it together. But I want to go for my full potential. I don't want any second, gu second guessing here. Because if I get extra attack here. Then I'm definitely putting attack boost 3 in SP gauge. If I don't. Then I'm going for the attack boost 4. So. This is what I'm going to do. And. You guys are probably going to hate it. But. You know what? It's fine. Here we go guys. Make sure I'm recording. Don't do this for yourselves. Wait for that guilting campaign. Um, I'm just doing this because I know I'm going to use him right, right now for the Coliseum. I'm going to try to make that top 1,000. So I got no problem doing this. So I went 8% up. That's okay to me. During a Guilty Campaign, that could happen too. If it stayed at 102, I would have felt a little bit bad, but I don't. So now if we get extra attack, I know what to put on this metal for a skill. Guys! I really want to keep 1,000 strength. I really, really, really want to keep a thousand strength, like badly. I want to keep a thousand strength, guys. You saw my, <clears throat> you saw my illustrated Sora, my illustrated Halloween Sora. Oh, this is such. Tr oh. I have a really good aerial medal at the moment, guys. It's really good. All right, so I'm on Discord right now. With my man Zach, and he's helping me out with this. So, Zach, thank you so much. You made my mind up. I'm gonna go with negative 60, negative 60. I'm gonna take his advice because I know he knows what he's talking about. So, thank you, Zach. Thank you so much. You're the best. Here we go. This is for you. Take away 1000 strength, going negative 60, negative 60, because I know he plays high tier Coliseum. And there you go. This is for you, man. Thank you. So, there we go. We'll continue the video now. Um, since I got a negative 60, negative 60, I definitely want to go for attack boost 4. So, I'm going to do that. Let's go get that. Okay. So, I know you guys are probably going to be like, what the hell are you doing? Just wait. You don't have to do it for the video. But, I really, really, you know what? Because I don't have any, like, let me sort this right now, guys. I don't have any, I still need to stock up for you guys. I really do, because I don't have any attack boost 4s on me. All my attack boost 4s are being occupied. 
so I really got to go buy some. So because I was sponsored these jewels, I'm just looking for if I have a normal attack boost 3. If I have a normal attack boost 3, then I won't do this. But I don't have normal attack boost 3s. So I'm definitely going to go into the shop. So you guys can see a little bit of pull here. I do not recommend this for anybody else. But because I was sponsored these jewels, I do want to do this properly. So we're going to pull for attack boost 4 right now. And I know a lot of you guys are th thinking like, that's crazy. But... Attack boost 4 gives me the most damage output, and I want to get to Coliseum as high as possible. So I'm going for this attack boost 4. So you guys get a free pull out of this, so don't worry. Um, again, I'm at a point in my count where I can make these stupid decisions and not wait ahead of time. Because definitely another avatar board will come out. It's my fault that I didn't wait. Hey, uh, I got one of these. The Flot Sam and Jet Sam. I really wanted one of these for the... Dark side quest for the Fantasia Mickey B just so I could show you guys. But yep, there we go. And I get myself an attack boost four. I'm gonna slap that on my key art nine. And I feel like that's the best decision because I am making this guy for Coliseum. For everybody else, if you don't have Illustrated Kyrie 2, just go for the attack boost three max and SP gauge. It will help you tremendously. He debuffs and he's a heavy hitter. But if you want to go my route of doing Coliseum and you get those negative 60s on there or just one negative 60, attack boost four, guys. Attack boost 4 all the way. Alright, so where's my metal? Let me just go. I'm in metal already. I don't know why I did that. Let me just go back to... There we go. So we're going to put attack boost 4 on here. We're going to go to some high level enemy. And we're going to test this out. Hopefully. Hopefully it works out like I was thinking. So where's my new attack boost 4? Attack boost 4 right here. Slap this on. And for me... Yes, we're override it. Boom. For me, this this works perfectly. Like, I really, really think that you should have the most damage possible for Coliseum. So, SP gauge is not a problem for me. Let's go into Keyblade setup now and make a Keyblade setup. Then I'm going to go try this into the highest level enemy I can find. I can literally touch anything right now because it's negative 60, negative 60. So, a Keyblade setup, basically, you're looking at Sleeping Line. You guys can switch it up. Like I said before, for my Sleeping Line, I'm going to have it looking like... Something like this. Let me just take that out, put that there, and then throw down my new Key Art 9 right over here. So I'm going to do something like this because of he debuffs, and then this guy's going to get some more damage on him if I'm facing ground. If I'm facing air, then I'll switch it up and put him there for the air enemies in Coliseum. Or I might think of something totally different, but I really do want to be able to like buff other metals too. Not just himself, so like, worst case scenario, if I get a really good upright, another good upright speed metal, I'll put him here just because he does the buff, and these two guys will have heavy hits. But, I am looking at that. As you can see, Illustrated Halloween Sora has a 3.65 multiplier, while he has a 3.59. So my Illustrated Halloween Sora is going to do a little bit more damage. Um, their attacks are the same, just by off by 7 strength, it's not a lot. But this guy's going to do heavy, heavy damage to ground enemies, where he's going to do heavy damage to both of them. So it depends which situation I'm in. I'll probably switch those two around. But you guys can do that. For this video, I'm going to put him on the last slot in pure buffs to show you a lot of damage. And other choices is Olympia. You guys can put him here or here. If you have, like I have, the two medals, um, Key Art 9 here, best multiplier, and then your Illustrated Hall Halloween Sora or whatever you guys have will get a buff or the debuff on the enemy's defense and do more damage as well. So there's a lot of choices. You got Lady Luck. He can sit over here if you really want to or be a strong hit off the bat. It's not really recommended because you do want some buffs with him. So Lady Luck is a very awkward Keyblade. It's only 1.9 and it's really going to hinder you. So it's not good for Coliseum, but it might be good for some quests. And then also right here where this Sora is sitting, you guys would put down... Oh wait, I already did this. So you guys would do this either way you want. Again, you can put him in this, this slot, but again, he's going to do damage here. And then he'll have a buff for this guy here. So your other next upright metal will do a lot of damage. It's all situational, but there's tons of Keyblades for them. Tons of Keyblades. Sleeping Lion is absolutely the best one because of the last slot. And later on, as you level up, you guys can see here. Uh, okay, it's not going to show me the next one. But as I level up, this second slot will get more of a multiplier as well. So it's going to turn out great. I actually might max out my Sleeping Lion first out of everything i don't know yet my upright collection is looking really really good but that's the keyblade setup so you guys want to be able to do a full buff rotation and make him the heaviest hitter this is the best situation right here not the best medals but i just want to do all the buffs so let's go into a quest and try to get attack boost 4 to activate 
on a Prowl Plus quest. Since I'm not high in Coliseum yet, we're going to do that instead. So let's go into events. Let's go to the magic one and let's go right to the last one and test this out. So I don't have uh, Illustrated Kyrie 2, so I'm going to use a friend medal here just in case it's a bunch of ones. No, it's the one big guy. So I'll do a little bit on the Trick Master, see what happens. It might not do too much to the Trick Master or this might be a bad example. And then I'll try the one before that has a whole bunch. So we're going to do times three, times three. I am going to move my head for you guys so you guys can see what activates and doesn't activate. So this is basically full buffs. There's no, there's not too much debuffs on here. There's uh, two debuffs. That's from my uh, Cinderella, I believe. I think that's Cinderella. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Cinderella. I could be wrong. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like I'm wrong. But anyways, she's going to lower its defense by two. It's speed defense. So I do have a time seven uh, speed buff, a time six strength buff. And now he's also going to lower... The speed buff. So the speed debuff on the enemy is going to go to 4. So I have near perfect here, guys. Attack boost 4 didn't go off. That's okay. You guys saw how much damage that was. I'm going to keep doing this until it does go off. But for enemies like this where I don't need to one-turn it, you're going to see the full potential of this. Is that a double cast? Woo! That's beautiful. I wish I had that. Whose medal is this? I didn't even check the name. That's a good medal right there. All right. Hopefully we don't get one-shotted. We got one-shotted. Let's go back into this. I have second chance on who? Oh. I don't have second chance. My friend middle has second chance. Okay, that works out perfectly. So let's continue this. Let's do this full buff rotation here again. And hopefully this time, this actually activates. Attack boost 4. If attack boost 4 activates, we're golden. So this setup, Kr9 by himself lowers uh, the speed defense. So you can almost have near perfect buffs and debuffs, except for general defense, on just key base setups like this because... Your main attack meadow is also a debuffer, which makes it incredible. Okay, attack boost 4. No attack boost 4 again. But you guys can see 27,733 damage at only 110% guilt. And that's 9 hits. So with a, without attack boost, it's over 270,000 damage without attack boost. Let's see if we can pull that off. We can't because we're going to die. So I'm going to go back into that. You know what? I'm not going to go back into that. I do want to go back into that. Just because it's the same one, I really want to see that go off. Let's try that one more time. If not, we're going to go try another group. Because the raid bosses have different defenses compared to normal mobs. But I don't know if it really qualifies for these Prowl Plus raid bosses. I know the raid bosses we farm for Lux. That counts. But I'm not sure if it counts for these guys as well. Because it is Prowl Plus. They really alter the defenses. I think at least. I could be wrong. So we'll try it on some normal mobs before this. Alright, let's just get our full buffs in there. I do have all these double cast medals, which really makes a big difference. Because right there, that's a times 4 speed buff. Right here is a negative 2 debuff. I probably have some other medals, but I was like, ah, why not? Show off my double cast medals. Attack boost 4, please. Attack boost 4. 67,000 damage. And I'm terrible math, so I'm going to pull up the calculator here, guys. I'm going to pull up the calculator. 67,000 damage times 9 hits is 603 thousand damage right there guys 607 yeah 67 times 9 603 thousand damage on this one guy that's insane that is so good i can't wait to take him to coliseum i wish i was a little higher in coliseum to show you guys but let's do this stage before just to show you on like regular mobs i'm just gonna do on the first one just to show this off a little bit more but you guys can see if you get the right traits and attack boost 4 going off you can have some really like broken metals like broken it doesn't even have to be kr9 guys any metal you get if you get the proper traits on it obviously it's gonna do so much damage but here we go this is a level 460 enemy i'm gonna go full buffs here and almost near perfect speed debuffs and then try this out on this guy hopefully attack boost 4 goes off if it doesn't it's all right no attack boost 4 but 38,000 damage per hit without attack boost 4 now this is proud plus high tier plow plus so that's the metal spotlight guys Hopefully you guys got good traits. Let me know in the comment what you guys got. I'm actually really happy with the negative 60, negative 60, especially since I have someone backing me up and tell me it is good. I always like help as well, guys. I might know as much as I know, but it's always good to have someone else to give you like that little bit extra tips and advice. So again, Zach, thank you. I think I'm going to enjoy this negative 60, negative 60. It's my first one, I believe. And like you said, plus 1000 strength might not make that big of a difference. It all depends. 
but I, I, I'm I taking your advice 100%. So thank you again. Everybody else, that's KR9 Metal Spotlight. Let me know what you got and what you decide to do. Don't do what I did. If you guys can wait, wait for an Avatar board with Attack Boost 4 in it or something better in it. Because to me, that 1500 jewels for that one skill, it's not bad, but it's not worth it for an Attack Boost 4. So don't get me wrong. Don't, tell, don't think that I'm telling you guys to pull from that. Just wait it out. It's better to wait. I was sponsored, and that's the only reason I did it. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.